that time of year when you may have an overabundance of zucchini and have already prepared it just about every way you can think to prepare it. Today I'm going to try another one for you. This is lemon rosemary zucchini. It's really fairly quick to do. Uh, we're going to get a, a pan started to heat here and what you want to choose is a, a medium sized skillet or saute pan because we're actually going to saute this. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. Let that heat up just a tad. Now the reason that you want to make sure you've got a pan that's big enough is you, you don't want everything to pile up in more than one layer because if you get things going up in more than one layer then you're going to be holding the steam in and instead of getting a saute going what you're going to have is, is just steaming. So get that oil a little bit warm and then add one yellow pepper. Now yellow pepper looks really nice. You could choose a different color depending on what you have. You don't want to spend extra money to get these. If you've got green or red and purple in your garden, they'll work fine also. I'm going to use yellow today. Uh, get those started going a little bit. And to that I'm also going to add two teaspoons of finely minced r fresh rosemary. Now fresh rosemary really makes this more spectacular than dried will, but you could use dry in a pinch. You could also do this particular dish in the dead of winter when things are not really going very, very strongly because you can freeze all these ingredients uh, and then you can make it later on. Everything is going to be a little bit more limp uh, and softer because of the freezing process, but it will go ahead and work. Now we're going to let this go continue to come up to heat uh, and we're going to cook it for about two minutes. And again, this is saute, not stir fry, so where we don't mind if there's some little bits that get a little bit brown. You want to stir it occasionally or split the pan, jump the pan, uh, but you don't want to, you don't need to stir it constantly. Okay, this is taking us just a couple of minutes. If you're real good at it, you can flip that out of the pan. I tend to just stir yet or pick it up the, off the floor. Next, I'm going to add the zucchini. Now, I don't want this to cook real long. I still want it to have a little bit of uh, texture to it. This is two cups of zucchini, which is about two medium zucchini. Uh, zucchini, of course, has a very mild flavor. And so cooking it this way is going to really enhance that flavor. We're going to add the, the pepper and the rosemary. In a little while, we're going to add some lemon juice to this as well. This is going to, again, cook for about uh, four to five minutes, depending on how soft you want it. You don't want it so soft that it's going to start uh, shedding a lot of the water in it. I'm also going to add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And if you choose, um, and I'm going to choose to, I'm going to add about a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, if you're trying to reduce the sodium amount in your diet, this is a really nice way to do this because we have all these other flavors as well. If it's just zucchini, it needs something else. And the easy thing for most of us is to add the, get the salt shaker and shake it on. Um, but with these other flavors that you're putting in there, it really affords the opportunity to reduce the sodium content or reduce the amount of salt without losing flavor because you've got so many other things there that are going to provide it. Again, about four minutes on this. You can see we've got a little bit of brownness on this, and that's really, really nice. It adds a little bit of flavor, but it's not cooked so much that it's going to change uh, the taste and make it actually cook taste more like fried. So it's just got a little bit of niceness to it. Now, if we had done this same thing with meat, you'd probably put some kind of a, a wine or water or broth in the pan. This is called the fond, and you'd get that out because it provides a lot of nice taste to that as well. Last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of lemon juice. Now the lemon juice is going to go on to your taste, so somewhere between one to three teaspoons. And again, make sure you taste it, make sure that uh, it's uh, got the flavor you want by the time you get done doing that seasoning. Got a little bit of garnish with a little bit of extra rosemary. This is really nice, it's quick, it's a, a flavorful way, doesn't add a lot of fat, doesn't add a lot of, of sodium to the diet, but does add a lot of taste as a side dish. I hope you'll try this one. It's lemon rosemary zucchini. For Oklahoma Gardening, I'm Barbara Brown.